Hey everyone, Sven from House of Secrets here. I'm going to show you a small script I wrote to help me with a design job I did. I had a couple of designs in Photoshop and I wanted each layer of those Photoshop files to be placed on image planes in Fusion. Now instead of doing this by hand for each layer, for each Photoshop file, every time connecting all the layers to the image planes, etc, 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 I wrote a small script. I cleaned up the code a bit and added an interface so it's a bit easier to use. Now, let me show you this file in Fusion, simple loader, and going into the script menu and choosing the House of Secrets PSD layer script. There we go. Now you're presented with a very simple interface and a couple of options. Now let me explain the options first. The placement option is pretty straightforward. The script generates a bunch of loaders, and one loader for each uh, Photoshop layer, of course, and this tells the script how to place these. Now, the second option is source tiles. Uh, what this does is that, uh, as you can see, I have the uh, four source style pictures activated, and what this does when I turn this on, it prevents uh, the created tools from overlapping each other. So when I place this in the vertical, they won't overlap each other. I'm going to show you in a minute. The third option is the mode. You can choose between 2D merge mode and 3D image planes. The 2D image mode is pretty much, it, it mimics the Photoshop layers, the way they're placed here, uh, as loaders and simple 2D merges. Let me show you. It also shows the store style option. There you go generates the images and their merges and there you go exactly the same just the way we like it now let me delete these and go to the script again the second um, I'm going to show you the second mode 3d image mode image plane mode sorry um, the next option, uh, these are, these, by the way, only act, uh, uh, do something in the three image play mode. You probably already got that. The Z stat option uh, basically tells uh, how far apart each image plane must be placed in 3D space. Uh, the Z offset tells the script where the first image plane must be placed, how far, how far away in the Z axis from the uh, origin. Now the projection type, um, places an extra 3D projector or camera. Uh, what this does is attach a uh, expression to each image plane so it fits within the uh, uh, viewing angle of either the 3D projector or camera. So when I would change the angle of my camera or projector, the size of the image planes um, would follow. Um, well, I'm going to show you right away. I'm going to create do it with a camera and I'm going to place this horizontal and OK. And there it goes again. As you can see, it has created a camera. And let me view the merge. And there we go. Now, as you can see, each image plane has got a expression. So when I view my camera, now if I start changing the angle, the image planes scale accordingly. And the same for the position of the camera. Now the cool thing about this is of course that shoot a place render there there. And of course Set it to some nice settings, accumulation effects, depth blur, and all I have to do now is change my plane of focus until I'm on the spot that I want to focus. A bit like this, there we go. Now if I change the angle of view, of course, I get a wider or tailor lens, and the depth of field changes accordingly. That's a bit, and there you go. Uh, 
that's basically what this uh, script uh, does, and uh, I hope you guys have some use for it. Cheers.